Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid CJ City, so we're back with a brand new video today. We are going to be talking about some of my most worn fragrances that I wore throughout the winter, all right? I know winter time is about to be over, springtime is rolling in. My springtime list will be coming out on Monday, so make sure you guys tune into this channel on Monday if you guys want to see my spring list, you know, and I will be releasing it then, but I'm going to be letting you guys know about all of the fragrances that I wore, you know, the most throughout winter, all right? I already did my winter list and I like to go back and I like to look at my winter list and I like to see did I actually wear those fragrances or was that something I was just anticipating so it's going to be fun to kind of match up these fragrances to my original list to see if I actually wore what I thought I was going to wear man so let's just go ahead and dive into this list right here but before we even jump into this I gotta salute all of my subscribers I gotta shout you guys out you guys show me a lot of love so I gotta take that time out to show you guys love back and also if this is your first time running across my channel make sure you guys subscribe to this channel right here if you guys like fragrance videos if you guys like top 10 lists if you guys like like some interesting content a little bit of honesty mixed up in there as well because you know i'm gonna get that to you then go ahead and subscribe to this channel right here but with no further ado let's just go ahead and dive into this list most warm fragrances throughout the winter time you know coming in at the number 10 slot that one is going to come from the house of ch Catalina Herrera and this one is going to be called bad boy okay now this was a new acquisition of mine I hate this bottle bro I hate it with a passion like how do you hold this stupid thing man but anyway I just got this fragrance all right so kind of by default I was wearing it a lot throughout the uh, throughout the winter so that's just the nature of the beast when you're actually you know have a new fragrance so that's why this is coming in at number 10 basically what I'm getting with this one right here you're basically getting like this eh, I want to say chocolate but it's more like a cacao powder or something like that it literally reminds me of Axe dark chocolate you know like Axe chocolate or I don't think it's called dark chocolate I think it's called Axe dark temptation it's almost like a chocolate type of vibe that's basically what I'm getting with this fragrance right here it's not like chocolate per se like a candy or anything like that it's more like on the synthetic type of side but you know you get it man okay so you do get that and then you get like this tonka bean type of note and then in the opening you're getting like this freshness it kind of reminds me of like a generic designer freshness almost like ambroxan or something like that but there is no ambroxan in the notes uh i do believe that that freshness that i'm getting is kind of coming from the bergamot and the white pepper so those two things you know combined is kind of giving off like this generic type of ambroxan freshness or whatever but that's basically what you're getting man you're getting like a little designer freshness you get a little cacao and you get some tonka bean but nonetheless it had to make the list just because of how much i've actually been wearing the fragrance maybe it might you know turn into a love one day but something that i do enjoy wearing okay so let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list here and this one is going to come from the house of 1821 man made and this one right here is going to be called sweet tobacco this fragrance right here good stuff if you guys ever wanted to experience honey and tobacco in its truest form this would be the one that i would recommend okay a lot of people talk about that honey tobacco combination that little duo that you get in perfumery this would be a great you know way for you to experience honey and tobacco because it's a nice sweet honey in here and then you're getting a nice tobacco and the tobacco I feel like it's a true tobacco. It's not like a soft tobacco, a nice tobacco, and it's not too dark tobacco either. It's right in the middle. It's perfect, man. So like like I said, honey tobacco. Interesting enough, I've been like, I wore this fragrance a lot. I wear this fragrance a lot, but I just like looked up the notes and I don't know why I never, look, never looked up the notes, but this thing said, I think it said it had like plum in here and it also had like red wine or something like that. I don't know, man. But I also get like a nice little sweetness up top that's obviously not coming from honey. Maybe it's coming from plum. Maybe it's coming from grapes or maybe it's coming from something in that red wine. I don't know. That was pretty interesting. If you guys are familiar with this fragrance, go ahead and definitely let me know. Am I tripping? Is there red wine? Is there plum in this fragrance? Or was the note breakdown that I was reading kind of off? But nonetheless, that's basically what you're getting, like a nice little sweetness you know that's kind of mixed with the sweetness and the stickiness of the honey you get tobacco and then you're also getting a nice vanilla fragrance this is beautiful stuff right here i wore this a lot okay you know so you know coming in at the number nine slot we're gonna go with 1821 man-made sweet tobacco now let's go ahead and move on to another fragrance on this list and this one might be a shock to you guys because it's one of my favorite fragrances of 2020 
But honestly, just the, the way that the whole world was and the way that the year played out, I didn't reach for this fragrance much, man. But, you know, nonetheless, that one is going to come from the house of BDK Parfums, and this one is going to be called Tobacco Rose. Beautiful fragrance right here. Basically, Rose, main player, all right? I always say this. Rose is the lead singer, okay? Everything else, they're the backup singers. But don't hate on the backup singers, all right? Because without them backup singers, the lead singer might not sound as good, okay? I'm telling you, everything, you know, works together. But Rose is definitely the star player, all right? You're getting plump. You're getting sentiment. You're getting a little bit of chocolate and a dry down, man. These are the things that are like, uh, like I like to say, the backup singers, man. But they're, you know, very vital to the composition. And that's what you're getting with this fragrance right here. But like I said, 2020 was not a year of dating for me. It was not a year of outings. It wasn't a year of dressing up and going out. So I just didn't reach for this as much as I anticipated because it's just... It's too strong to just be wearing it in the house for no reason, all right? So I tend to reach for other things, but I did wear this every now and again. But I can anticipate once I get back out into the real world, I will be wearing this a little bit more. But nonetheless, had to make the list because I did wear it, all right? Now, let's go ahead and move on to another fragrance on this list on the next spot here. And this one is going to come from the house of, you know, uh, Contour Sub Pacific. And this one is going to be called Vanilla Passion, okay? This one... I told you guys about this. This is a really good vanilla fragrance. If you like vanilla, this is going to be for you. If you don't like vanilla, this ain't for you. This is just creamy, sweet vanilla. It reminds me of, you know, a, 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 a vanilla milkshake. That's basically what I'm getting with this fragrance right here. It's beautiful. I feel like vanilla works well for the Christmas holiday type of uh, seasons for winter. It's beautiful stuff, man. So I throw this on, and if I wanna kinda liven the vanilla up a little bit, I'll go ahead and I'll layer this thing with Molecule O2. That one's just straight and boxing, all right? So I'll throw some of this on, and I'll throw some of that Molecule O2, walk around smelling like a nice, fresh vanilla, all right? So, you know, that's definitely a fragrance that I was wearing a lot, you know, throughout the uh, winter time, okay? Now let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list, and this one is actually gonna come from the house of Givenchy and this one right here is going to be called gentlemen only absolute okay this one is the one with the red you know little tag right here you guys can check this thing out you know something that I just been wearing because it's interesting to me man I always find myself coming back to it to it and wanting to experience it again because it's very interesting I don't feel like this is a mass appealing fragrance I don't think everybody's just gonna enjoy you when you wear this fragrance but if you're like me Something's intriguing about this fragrance. Something is interesting about this fragrance and you just keep coming back to it. And that's what was going on here. But basically, it's really like almost like a simplistic note breakdown. But the way that things work together is interesting. You're basically getting cinnamon and you're getting a nutmeg burst, a bomb of nutmeg. That's basically in the opening is what you're getting. Cinnamon and nutmeg right away. Maybe a little bit of saffron in here, you know, but, uh, you know, just a little bit, if any, okay? Then it starts to dry down into like this vanilla woody type of fragrance, okay? It's really interesting. This thing, it has to have more than just that, you know, because it's super interesting. I really enjoy this fragrance. I keep coming back to it, and I was wearing it, you know, throughout the winter time, so I definitely had to put this on the list here, okay? Now, let's go ahead and move on to what is this? Number four on this list right here, okay? And this one, I did not plan on this. It just so happened that I wore the fragrance, and then once you get a waff of the fragrance, you're like, oh, my God, this stuff is really good. No wonder why this thing is the king, all right? You know, and that one is going to be Aventus. Now, this is a little different because this one is Aventus 13X01. This is a vintage batch. You guys could tell by the 120 ml bottle. This is vintage stuff right here, 2013. The reason why I got this bottle is because I wanted to explore that smoky Aventus, all right? And that's basically what this is. This is a smoky batch of Aventus. I'm not telling you guys to go down that, that rabbit hole or anything like that, but I did and I got lost and I got you know engulfed in the whole smoky batches. I want to try this, I want to try that. 13 Zs, 11 Zs, all the other stuff. And I ended up getting a bottle of uh, 13 x01 nice balance though 
It's not extremely smoky, but the smoke is still there. And I enjoy the smoke. I really do like the smoke. And yeah, the smoke is kind of like an authentic, you know, charcoal. But I like barbecue charcoal, man. I like the smell of it. It's just a weird smell that I enjoy. And it just works well with the whole, you know, Aventus DNA, all right? Beautiful stuff. I've been wearing this. And like I said, I didn't intend to wear this as much as I did. Just one day, I was like, hey, let me wear some smoky Aventus, man. Threw this thing on. I'm like, oh, my God. Next day, I came back for some more, man. I'm wearing this thing and then I, you know, the next thing you know, I'm just wearing this thing. It's just in my rotation throughout winter time. And, you know, with that smoky element, it was beautiful for the cold weather. So, you know, coming in, what is that? Number four slot, you know, that is a, a vintage batch of Aventus. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance here. This one is going to come from the house of Les Ande Madables or Ende Madables. I don't really know which one you, you say, but you know, nonetheless, this is called Vani Havan, all right? This is a new acquisition of mine. This is a good fragrance, and I, you know, found myself reaching for this thing a lot throughout the winter time, all right? Basically, what you're getting with this fragrance right here is you're getting, you know, like this nice kind of chocolate opening, man. So you get chocolate, but it's kind of coming across to me as like more of like a coffee chocolate type of vibe, all right? So you get that in the opening. You're getting some tobacco, but that tobacco is kind of reminding me of like a cigar man so imagine smoking a cigar you guys getting that in this fragrance right here you're getting a nice boozy rum in this fragrance and then you're also getting like this nice dried fruit type of a core man i can't pinpoint what fruit it is but it's it's just like a dehydrated fruit it's not like a watery juicy fruit it's like a dehydrated cherry or a dehydrated you know cranberry or something like that it just kind of gives me those type of vibes that is in here as well and then of course you're getting some vanilla in this fragrance is a new acquisition of mine so like i said same thing with like ch bad boy something that just kind of came into my collection that's new it just so happens that i'm wearing this thing man and i'm wearing it a lot okay so i found myself actually wearing this thing i think like three times just straight you know like i wore it one day came back the next day came back the next day wore this thing three times in a row all right so this is some good stuff man i definitely like that man so definitely a fragrance that had to make my list all right let's go ahead and move on to another fragrance and man another fragrance I can't remember if this was actually on my winter list because I usually wear this, you know, throughout the fall. I'd have to go back and I'd have to check. But somehow this thing just creeped into my rotation, man. And this thing right here is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. I always talk about this fragrance and I would love to switch it up for you guys, but I just got to be truthful and I got to be honest. This is what I'm wearing, all right? And this is beautiful stuff right here. If you guys don't know by now, you guys got to go out here and you guys got to try this fragrance because it's, it's a, a beautiful fragrance. Really nice opening. I'm telling you, the opening, you're getting a little freshness, but it's not citrus or anything like that. I think there's no in here or orange blossom or something like that so you get that but you know the overall story with this fragrance is like that kind of like gourmand element to the fragrance man so it kind of reminds me of like this tiramisu type of cake kind of reminds me of like this nice vanilla chocolate chip type of you know vibe in here beautiful beautiful stuff i really really enjoy this you know oh man I don't know how, but you know, it just made it all the way into my rotation. I'm just wearing this thing, man, a lot too. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance. And again, this is just a new fragrance that I got. So I just wore it a lot, man. And I actually just did a video about this whole house, you know, 4160 Tuesday. You guys can check that out. But this one right here is going to be called, I like to you read the note, or I like to read the name because this is a long name here. This is called The Sexiest Scent on the Planet Ever. <laughs> and now it comes from the house of 4160 Tuesday, all right? Um, you know, basically what I'm getting with this fragrance is a true lemon meringue pie vibe i know a lot of people say that addition blanche you know kind of reminds them of a lemon meringue pie but this is going to remind you of a lemon meringue pie i'm telling you just lemon then you get like that that meringue pie type of vibe whipped cream on the top and then you get that topped off with some vanilla ice cream that's basically what i'm getting with this fragrance okay you can read the notes if you want to but i'm telling you that is basically what you're getting and no it doesn't come off as like a super sexy scent but vanilla works very well during the holidays. A nice little edible gourmand throughout the holidays. A little limit fast into this. I'm telling you, good stuff here, okay? Now, let's go ahead and move on to the number one fragrance here. This is something I would have never seen coming. To make number one, are you kidding me? Like, I'll probably wear this maybe once or twice, you know, but 
to make number one, I was wearing this thing a lot, bro. I just didn't see it coming. It's coming from the house of Tom Ford, and this one is going to be called Tobacco Vanille. I did not see that coming at all. I do like this fragrance. I do enjoy the fragrance. But one day, I don't know what happened, man. I just decided, you know, Tobacco Vanille is going to be my scent of the day today. And I'm just like, wow, I forgot how much I actually like this fragrance, man. You know, I thought it was just okay, but nah, this thing is just like really good. It's just vibing. It's working for me, man. So I just came back to it the next night, you know, and I wore it again and it just worked. It just, for some reason, just became my night bedtime type of fragrance like i'll take a shower i will wear this thing me and the wife we watching some christmas movies or something like that or i'll throw this thing on man i'll pop me some popcorn i'll sit down by myself and i'll watch me a little christmas movie or something like that like i don't know why it was just like almost every night i was wearing this fragrance it was just almost like signature to you know like the holiday the christmas vibes it's just very Christmassy to me, man. And it just worked very, very well. And it was something that I was just enjoying. I really think I wore this thing for like two weeks straight every night. Like, it was like my most warm fragrance, man. I'm telling you, it was good stuff. Tobacco Vanille right here from Tom Ford, all right? But that's basically going to be all the fragrances that I wore. These are my most warm fragrances throughout the winter time. And I just wanted to be honest with you guys because I know a lot of the times we do these lists, but do we really be wearing them fragrances that we be suggesting to you guys? You know, uh, hopefully at least half of it that I suggested make the list. But uh, nonetheless, you guys already know what it is, man. I'm CJ City. I'm signing out. Until next time, I appreciate all the love. Peace.